Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy high squad? Welcome to another vlog. Um, just here finishing editing a nice Canada video, which is taking so long. I'm gonna check on my Conyers. Here they are. They're busy trying to fly and join me. There they are. Watch. If I move here, they will fly here. They are such good flyers. Hi guys. Come, come, come. You gonna come? Join me? Hi guys. <laughs> come, I'm over here. I'm over here. Doo -doo -doo. Usually they follow me. I don't know. Earlier they were following me. Oh, Conyers. Conyers, Conyers. They're getting ready for bed. It's uh, evening now. All right. Sleep tight, my cuties. I'll see you in the morning with breakfast. OMG, my boy squad. There is a whole family of yellow Orioles up in this tree. Um, I don't know if I could focus on any of them, but guys, there must be like eight of them flying around and they're like making all this noise. And guys, they're literally yellow Orioles. Beautiful, gorgeous yellow birds. Okay, wait, let's see if I can focus in on them. Did you see them? See them? I wonder what that is. Look. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful. So these yellow birds are native to the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they're called Orioles. I could be wrong. <laughs> My boy squad Glenn Bags, would you like to verify? But there is a big flock of them just in this tree in our yard. They're all up there. I wonder if they're like mating. Because usually I, when I see these birds, they're in pairs or they're like alone. See them? But here they're in a huge group. And you know what? My conures are like going crazy. You can also hear the conures in the background. I think they see the birds. And there's Rizal barking. Wow. So cool. Good morning, Mabu High Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, it is currently 5.14 a.m. in the morning because we are hopping on a plane. Heading over to Iloilo, guys. Yay. This is gonna be fun. Iloilo is on another island here in the Philippines. Um, I think it's called Panay Island. And it's an amazing place. It also happens to be the island where our other agricultural farm is. So that is on the schedule to go visit that farm. Um, but we're there to shoot a, for a project. So I'm really excited. Um, food is amazing in Iloilo. Haven't been there since like before pandemic. So I'm super thrilled to be flying there. Thanks. He knows we're going. Oh, just sleep, okay? Just sleep. You be nice to the Elsie, okay? We'll miss you. We'll be back, okay? We'll be back fast. Sleep, Sahara, okay? <laughs> you be nice. You be nice to the Elsie. We'll be back, okay? All right, guys. Here at the airport now. Happy to be back. Yep. Yay! Guys, look who else is here. Hi, Jaya. Jaya also flew in, our editor of these vlogs, um, and she's gonna shoot for this project. Wow, guys, Iloilo is so beautiful. I guess the biggest industry here in Iloilo is agriculture. Lots of beautiful, gorgeous farms, very productive. Um, even flying in, you can see all the gorgeous, gorgeous farms. Um, and 
RJ and I own one um, in a town maybe like two hours away from Iloilo City here and I can't wait to visit it. Food in Iloilo is delicious, so good. Centuries ago, a lot of like settlers came here and established hacendas, uh, they're called. So these really vast farms. And um, I guess as a result, uh, this place seems to be a foodie destination, like farm to table, a lot of farm to table restaurants here. And I can't wait to feast, guys. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Um, I hope so. Guys, today's the big day. We're visiting the farm. Yay. Oh, wait. I'd like you to meet my new friend. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. So she is from, first of all, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Anne. I'm from Iloilo, but we're um, actually residing from, uh, we're from Rhode Island in, U in the U.S. So awesome. I just met Mikey <laughs> Bustos. Like, I'm so stoked to meet him. Yeah, it's so cool to meet people like from abroad, but you're from here, she's from Iloilo, you're from an awesome province. Yes. We love it here. Yeah. Anyway. Well, thank you and nice to meet you. Hope you enjoy your stay here. You as well. Yeah. And have a safe trip back. You too. Alright. Bye guys. <laughs> Alright, there's RJ. There's Jaya. Hi Jaya. This is gonna be so fun. So we like rented a van so we can head over there. There's our driver, hi Sir Bong. And I'd like you to meet Mabuhai Squad Chona. Hello. If you guys go through the comments, you see her. She comments all the time. She is hardcore Mabuhai Squad. Been following the vlogs for a long time. Thank you so much, Chona. So Chona is from here. She speaks the dialect, everything. So she is awesome. Um, she's coming with us as well. She was also with us the last time we visited the farm. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Okay, we're taking a pit stop, guys. Wow, look at all this stuff. Mmm, hiyaya, very famous Filipino snack. Inside, it's like this sweet, yummy stuff. Mmm, so good. This looks like dried saba. Yum. Peanut crumble. Are you getting it, RJ? Puto. Where? Mmm, this is legit. It's like even cooked in leaves. So this here is like a little um, market and we're at a bus stop. Like the buses stop here, people could get off and use the bathroom and stuff. Ooh, I like it. RJ's getting quail eggs. Mmm, healthy. Guys, the view, driving to the Mabuhai Squad farm. Oh, wait, what should we call this? I've been calling it the Mabuhai Squad Hacienda, just so it's different from Mabuhai Squad farm. It is gorgeous. So nice, the landscape. All right, guys, we're here. Ooh, look at it. Wow, guys, this is off-roading to the max. But crazy, look at the, wow, look at the scenery. It's so hilly. So eventually, RJ and I would like to get horses that could just live here on this farm and then we could just take horses all around. Gosh, guys, this is aratilis, my favorite local fruit. Oh my gosh, but I don't think it's ripe. It's growing everywhere, guys, here on the property. Guys, we're taking bikes now, like motorcycles to the top, like to the farmhouse. All right guys, time to ride the bike. Okay, RJ, let's go. RJ and I are gonna double ride. All right. Woo! This is awesome. Guys, this is an adventure. Okay, let's go. Woo! <laughs> yes! Woohoo! Oh my God, there's mud. Look at how beautiful. It's gorgeous. My boys got look all around. Look, look, look. Check that out. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, there is so much room here to have like a whole herd of horses. Whoa guys, look. Here we go. Alright. So um here on the farm, uh we grow pineapples, oh, corn, oh, no. sugar cane. Oh that is. That is. Pero ngayon hindi. Okay, we don't grow sugar cane now. Lots of bananas. 
there's coconut, there's a little bit of everything, but the main crop here is corn and pineapples. Yes. I love both, and both are quite healthy. Oh my gosh, guys, look at, whoa, look at. <laughs> I think eventually we're gonna need to like develop a road Okay, so this is sugarcane. Okay, so we are growing a bit of sugarcane here. <laughs> I mean, this is a lot of sugarcane. Wait, what's your name? Cielo. Cielo. Wow, wow, Oops. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Alright. His name is Cielo. I like that name. It means sky. Or sky? Yeah, or heaven. There's a lot of sugarcane here. I... Ah! We got mahogany trees here. There, that's mahogany. why we need horses. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, now there isn't even any road. It's grass. Oh, the weather is awesome. Look at the soil, guys. It's like reddish. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. This is amazing. Where? Bamboo. Oh, there are bamboo forests here. So, part of the plan is to... Whoa allow a big chunk of this land to just grow wild as a conservation effort for wildlife, native plants, that kind of thing. I'll explain more about what our plans are currently for uh, this very vast farm. Several hectares. Oh, I see. Is this pineapple? Is this pineapple? Okay, so there are mangoes here too. Oh, mango up here. Oh, dragon fruit. Yep. Ito langka ko ya. Oh, langka. Where? Jackfruit. Okay, see, yeah, we grow a little bit of everything. Whoa. More jackfruit here. Okay, we're walking now, guys. Oh, I see termite mounds. Awesome. Um. Oh, here, look, guys. Jackfruit. It's quite small right now. They grow massive, like literally from here all the way down. They're huge. But oh, so cool. I love all the fruit trees. So um, up here is the farmhouse. Guys, it's gorgeous out here. Okay, mangoes, mango trees up there. Literally, it, there's just like fruiting, fruit bearing trees everywhere. And a little bit of everything growing everywhere. I see pomelo. Is that pomelo? It's huge. Look at this. See that? It's massive. It's the size of a basketball. How cool. All right, here we are. Wow, here it is. Sweet. So there's a shaded area here. See that? And then that's the farmhouse. I hear chicks. There's some chicks growing here, I believe. Oh, see, there's like a chicken and some chicks in there. Oh, it's just as beautiful as I remember. Look, Mobuhai Squad, look. I see pineapple here. Pineapples. These are all pineapples. Bromeliads, guys, technically. See? Pineapples. They're kind of spiky, so you have to watch. Pineapples, pineapples, pineapples. More pineapples. There are fields of pineapples, like, all over in different areas. So this here is the house that was built um, before RJ and I acquired it, like the property. Um, we plan on rebuilding it um, and making it out of cement or concrete, right? Just like our house at the Mobile High Squad farm, um, because they said that this house was actually rebuilt after it was destroyed from Typhoon Yolanda several years ago. Um, and the main problem with typhoons here is the wind because if you look we're up high and the wind really blows through here during the typhoon so we really need to develop and make this a bit more typhoon proof um, but here is the home see cooking area here the last time we were here they cooked us a delicious meal love it see there are rooms here and stuff just a simple home made of wood and um, metal roofing. Really nice, there's a television there. Very simple. 
you can hang out here see things are made of bamboo as well gorgeous really really gorgeous so rj and i got this property um when was that that was i think 2018. we initially wanted it to be partially our humanitarian project where we would just give the community of farmers that live here all that they need like give them the fertilizers they need etc hopefully find people who would buy the produce um just so you know they could send their kids to school etc all of that and if rj and i wanted to get away to like a real secluded farm uh we could just come here enjoy organic living right so yeah that's what we had planned i also of course as i mentioned wanted to have a, a part of it become completely wild uh, for conservation purposes and also i wanted to collab with other collaborators agricultural collaborators to um use new technologies in you know farming produce more sustainable practices farming produce i've spent the past what three years or so studying permaculture i can't wait to grow food forest here um this is kind of one of those like retirement projects guys this will take decades of development for us but yeah it's it's really a dream. If you're a follower of the Ants Canada channel, uh, you know that I also dreamed of creating um, Antopia Park. Yeah, just like that's part of the conservation effort. Like, you know, wildlife also includes ants. So, you know, I want to protect the diversity of ants and insects and wildlife that we have here in the Philippines because very few people know that the Philippines is a hotspot for diversity of insects and birds and all kinds of like uh, groups of animals so you know like with constant constant wild spaces being demolished due to agriculture and urbanization and all of that i just felt like we needed to protect a lot of it most of the agricultural lands are owned by sort of like an older generation i guess um and their kids want to go to the city they don't want to be farmers uh, they want to like work in an office and all of that. They want to go corporate. But farming is super duper important. Um, and I feel like agriculture will become a growing industry and more important industry for humans in the coming years. Um, especially in light of like, you know, food shortages and climate change and all of that. You know, farmers will will become increasingly more and more important. And they already are important, guys. Everything comes from a farm. Everything from soap to oils to like food obviously so many products come from farms and i can't wait to see what we can do with the land as our good friend tita sonia says that if you if you own land and you do nothing with it that's a capital sin <laughs> all right i didn't notice this is malungai here this is moringa it's called in english very very healthy superfood you can literally just pick this and like add it to your soup. It's so healthy. And I feed it to my birds too. I love it. See that fresh moringa? So good. Oh, the chicks are so cute. So, so cute. So chicks need to be protected from predators, um, which can range from snakes to cats, you know, stray cats to even rats um, and a whole bunch of other birds of prey. So typically you can have them the chicks free ranged but it is much better to have them fenced in somewhere chona what is that calamansi Ooh, yum oh there's a lot up there yes. he's gonna bring some down oh there i see them they're way up there he's gonna bring some down using that stick so we could squeeze some sour citrus calamansi on our food we're gonna eat that is so awesome <laughs> just pick it up love it guys this is nanai bing mommy Hello. bing hi hi wow look at all this delicious food they've prepared salama tita <laughs> mm, fish bangos we've got fried pork we got soup and then um shrimp yum delicious these are huge calamansi this is right, big guys wow amazing is that a good thing that it's big? More juice, right? Hi. You're so cute. <laughs> What's her name? Sia. Sia? Hi, Sia. 
You have such a beautiful name. Hi, Sia. <laughs> She's shy. It's okay. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> She's so cute. This is Kuya Jonathan. Hi. He's the head agriculturalist here. He takes care of all the crops and stuff. Guys, this here is Talisai. All of you aquarium people know these plants. You can, you can um, have these, like the dead leaves, see the red ones and the, the dead ones? You can have them decay in your aquarium, your freshwater aquarium, and all the nutrients seep out into the water and it turns the water black and you can have a black water terrarium. Really good for your fish. Cool, here's a coconut that is about to grow into a coconut tree. See, life is just constantly regenerating, reproducing, proliferating. It's just wonderful. I love, love places like this. Just out in nature. All right. They're chopping some saba. Yes. Sara. We grow this at the Mubuhai Squad Farmhouse. It's um, a local cultivar of the regular Cavendish bananas. And it's super healthy, high in fiber, high in a bunch of nutrients. It's one of my favorite carbs. I eat it every day. Hi there, rooster. What's going on? I won't hurt you. We, I just want to show you to the Mobohe squad. Yes. I love how it's just like freely roaming. And guys, it's so wonderfully cool here. Like it's not extremely hot because we're up like higher. Like in Tagaytay, it's pretty much the same weather as Alfonso where we lived before. It's kind of higher up in the like mountainous region. So it's perfectly cool. Um, and that's why pineapples can grow here because pineapples need a little bit of cool. Like the, they're tropical fruits, but they need a little bit of coolness. Um, so they thrive here. Sadly, during the pandemic, it was hard for the community here. Um, RJ and I are going to purchase them some new seedlings so they could like continue to plant stuff here and you know sus sustain their families um, off the land. We're kind of like asking them things now and like trying to find out what they need um, so we could give it to them. And yeah, this is... <laughs> Love the rooster, the random rooster. There are tons of creatures here guys. I'm looking around, I'm seeing all sorts of spiders all sorts of different like ants of course it's a heaven and guys the coolest breeze is blowing through right now oh i love this so they're talking about how sili the price of sili um hot peppers hot chili peppers here in the philippines has gone up like the philippines is also experiencing the um inflation issue so like simple things that used to be you know pretty affordable are getting quite pricey again another reason why having a farm is really important or even if you're living in the city like growing your own food is uh it's increasingly becoming important just on a patio or indoors even or in your yard uh, on a balcony somewhere outside by a window oh i see Chona is saying that in the market, they're usually smaller. And yeah, I mean, I see them a lot smaller. And these ones here are quite large. It's good. It must have to do with soil, I guess. Soil quality, yeah. And look, he's collecting more in a bag. That's, a, that's gonna be a lot of calamansi. Wow, we're talking about COVID now, and none of them who are living here contracted it during the pandemic. Um, I guess it's just, they've been so secluded out here that Maybe COVID never made it to them, or perhaps they had it and didn't know, or maybe they were just super healthy and were able to fight it off. Who knows? Okay, now we're talking about how we can improve the road coming in because we are making plans to rebuild this house, make it a bit bigger, a bit more modern. I mean, this, this can easily be torn down if a really strong super typhoon were to come along. We're gonna redo this this home, but you know, being out here, you guys saw how hard it was to get out here. We're talking about how they're gonna bring the cement, where they're gonna buy the materials. Apparently there's a hardware store nearby. Um, so it's definitely possible logistically. We just need to plan. Whoa, those are huge. Calamansi. This calamansi. That's the biggest calamansi I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. Wow, Tita. Awesome. 
Oh. And then here's some fish. Yum, fresh. Okay, let's eat. Kaon na, as they say, here in Iloilo. Look at that delicious fish with like chopped tomatoes, onions. Mm. And the giant calamansi. Oh yeah, that's like that's like three calamansis in one. Um, and then some fried pork. Let's try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Yum. Home cooked meals. The fish. Mm. 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 How's the food? Good. Good. What's your favorite? Shrimp. Shrimp's good. Guys, RJ always peels my shrimp. Isn't he the sweetest? Mm. Thanks. Thanks. Next time I'll do tablescaping. What? Yeah. What will you do? Tablescaping? Guys, RJ says he's gonna tablescape here next time. Okay, that'll be awesome. Farm table skate. Yeah, farm to table. Farm to table skate. <laughs> OMG, my boy's gone. Look at what I just found. Oh my god. That huge pomelo tree. I found it. It was on the ground. What is it? Pomelo? It's not pomelo. Miracle fruit though. Miracle fruit? I have never heard of this. Oh, you can eat it. It's not, you can't eat it. At all? Ever? It's just for decoration? Oh, just the water. You boil it. Oh, yeah. the water. It's like a coconut. Okay, so the water in here, you can drink it. And they say it's medicinal. You have to boil it first. You have to boil it first. Oh, interesting. You have you guys heard of miracle fruit? All this time, I thought this was a pomelo, but it doesn't look like a pomelo. Interesting. Oh, wow, guys. It's heavy. I could work out with this. Miracle fruit. Okay, guys, so apparently they don't even eat it. <laughs> they don't use it. They don't need it. So I'm just going to put it back. Let nature deal with it. Interesting. I mean, I would love to cut this open, boil it, and taste what this water, medicinal water, tastes like. Interesting. You see? You see? All the secrets these farmers have, they are, at the heart, biologists. They're not just, like, people who know to grow things. They are biologists. They know what plants are used for what, what things are ready to eat, when the right time is to harvest things, when the right time is to plant things. I'm gonna return this to the soil because that can decay and add nutrients to the soil. Oh, I love this. I love this. So cool. So much to learn. Right, my boy squad? Isn't it fun learning things? I just love this. Hi, Sia. How old are you, Sia? Three? Are you three years old? <laughs> She's three years old guys and she's so cute I are you singing she's singing into her coke bottle guys <laughs> she, she's so intrigued by, by the vlogging you're gonna be in my vlog see ya yes <laughs> she's so cute Koya Jonathan opened the miracle fruit that's what it looks like inside oh my gosh guys it smells different it smells like permanent marker Oh, you've got to boil it. Okay, so you can't eat this like this. You really need to cook it. But wow, it kind of looks like breadfruit. Oh, guys, it's poisonous if you eat it just like without cooking it. Okay, but I want to smell it. Oh, it can heal cancer? Anti-cancer. It's... Okay, from far away, it's reminiscent of... What smell is that? Like, I'm, I'm immediately reminded of permanent marker, but not quite. It's like straw. It smells like paint. Guys, it smells like paint. Oh guys, you know this? This fruit is called goyabano. I guess it grows here too. It's also another like, they consider it a superfood and a miracle fruit. Full of antioxidants, anti-cancer, all of this. They make the, the leaves into tea and it, guys, the fruit is so sweet and delicious and tart. It's tart, the flesh is white. It's so good, we'll eat some one day. OMG! Koya Jonathan brought something. Ano yan? Oh, squash. He brought squash literally just picked. Mmm, sarap. At sustancha. It's yummy and healthy. Okay, guys, so now we are heading to another location to check feasibility in terms of building a house. Because, yeah, we can improve this, but I think there are other places we could also build a home. Okay. 
Mike, we are shallows taking us. RJ, hold on. No, I'm used to it. I'm used, to it. used to it. When do you bike? In the province. I grew up in the province. Okay, guys. Short bike ride. Now we gotta walk. Whoa. Here we go. Walking this way. Gosh, look at all of these fields. Crazy. There's so much. Wow. Ano to kuya? Jackfruit? Oh. Langka. More jackfruit. It's growing everywhere. Wildflowers. Wildflowers. RJ's thinking about tablescaping. Look at the ferns. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a lot of ferns down there. Is it? Yeah, I see it. That's good for tablescaping. RJ's like, those ferns down there are good for tablescaping. We will ask Jonathan. Oh, okay. Guys, trust me. My favorite fruit, as I said before, aratilis. It tastes oh, like the sweetest. Santoli. It's a berry that grows from a tree. A this here is a santol tree. Santol is a very oh, oh, sour oh, fruit. Oh, 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 oh Glimaras mango tree here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Here is more mango. Oh, oh, Guys, like the trees are everywhere. We can build a house here. Oh, wow. Look at that view. Oh, my gosh. Look at that view, Mabuhay Squad. Wow. So we're just inspecting, maybe we could just build a brand new house here. Wow, look at the views! Like imagine waking up and looking out of your window and seeing all of this. <gasps> so beautiful! This is great. Oh, so we would... They're talking about building a path to go down this like cliff. There's a cliff here. Whoa! They have stairs, they have stairs that go down here. But we could build another set of stairs like that go down here. So even all of this is part of the farm. All of this, everything the light touches is our kingdom. There is so much land here to do things, guys. Seriously. Even way out there, all of this, this is all ours too. Mabuhay squad, we should really make this land fruitful. Yeah. We're telling the, um, them that we want to employ, we want people to have work. So like he says that there's a whole community of farmers down there that can work, that can help with farming and tending this land. They can earn, right? Just beautiful here, guys. I think we're going to be coming back a lot more when we start to build here. Uh, we're going to check out another location where we could potentially build a home. We could actually build multiple homes here um, for those who work here, for us as a vacation home, or you know, whenever we come here to stay, if we need to get away even from Cavite, which is still already a province and it's like countryside. But if we want even more like country, we could come here. Whoa, RJ is saying that this trail here goes to the main road. Okay, like out, it go leads out of the entire farm. Guys, the vegetation here is so thick. It's like there are just plants everywhere. Air is so fresh, so good. Ah, and I like the exercise in the sun. That's really nice too. But we need horses, guys. We need horses. Oh, guys. Here's another place we can build a home. Oh, wow. It's so high. Oh, I like this, guys. I have good feelings about this place. Lots of termite mounds everywhere too. You see there's one right there. They said there used to be a Bahai Kubo here. Like a, one of the, you know, those houses made, the traditional houses made from bamboo and wood. There used to be one here, but after Typhoon Yolanda, it like got blown away. Whoa, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, I vote for this. Oh, wow. Kuya Jonathan, it's beautiful here. And it's breezy, it's cool, yeah. It's very windy. Oh, and you have total panoramic 360 view of the entire property. Yeah, it can't be a massive house. It needs to be. Yeah, just a just an ordinary, maybe two-story house here.
did you get this mushroom? Son. Oh, uh, okay, guys. He picked a mushroom. I thought this was termite mound mushroom. All you AC family understand what I'm talking about. Is this termitomyces? Anyways, what I'm talking about is these delicious mushrooms that grow from termite mounds. And um, they're so yummy. And they grow here in the Philippines during a certain season. Um, and if you watch the Ants Canada channel, I just released a video on it. Basically, these mu if this is a termite mushroom, it grew from a termite nest. And the termites pretty much farm the fungus, like the heart of the fungus, in their nests. And um, at, to this day, scientists have not been able to cultivate this mushroom like artificially in a lab, like most other mushrooms that we grow. There's, the termites have a secret sauce. The termites have certain enzymes and microbiota in their gut that allows them to farm this fungus from like decaying leaves and stuff. It's amazing. Oh, and it's so delicious. If this is termite fungus also known as termitomyces. It's gotta be termite fungus. Look at all the termite mounds everywhere. Oh my gosh, wow. I wonder if it is. OMG, my Buhai squad. All of you AC family understand the excitement right now. They just literally cooked the mushroom. And look, it's so juicy. Okay, so I'll just cut a piece. RJ, would you like to try termite mushroom? He's good, thanks. I he doesn't want, okay. Buhai squad. This was farmed by termites. That is, if this is termitomyces. And it's been like totally roasted, just here. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, tita. She's had it before. She knows. Sarap. Kahit walang asin. Like, with no seasoning. It is so good. Mmm, termites. I love you. Whoa, I'm getting high. Just kidding. <laughs> Mmm, the stalk is medio hard and chewy. Guys, the long stick part is like chewy. Just don't eat that. Wait, it must be healthy. Do you understand? This was like a year of termite farming. Mmm. Okay, Jia's gonna try the termite mushrooms. Go. Okay, guys. It's chewy. It's chewy, yeah. But it tastes like an ordinary mushroom, right? Yeah, it kind of tastes like banana leaves. It tastes like yeah. banana leaves, that's the flavor, yeah. It was cooked there. How cool. Okay guys, now we're heading to another site. Gonna check out the barn area. Thank you. We're giving everybody a uh, thank you present for Christmas. It's Christmas, it's their Christmas present. Yeah, we'll be back again. All right, here we go. So are we getting horses, RJ? Yeah, we might. Yeah. They know where to buy it, right? We have to build the horses a stable. Okay guys, so this is the barn. This is where they store all the corn that's harvested, um, all of that stuff. Um, it also needs some work. <laughs> RJ and I haven't been able to do much to really develop this farm since we got it because, well, like the pandemic. The pandemic prevented us from coming here, right? And to do further work on the place, we could only just like send money. That's it. I mean, now <laughs> that we can travel more, we'll be coming here a lot more often. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna go inside. Let's see. My boy squad. Oh, they're using it for storage right now. Oh, look at all that wood. It's big. Wow. Huge. It's big. Wow. There's a Bahai Kubo right here where people could hang out. This is amazing, right, Mabuhai Squad? So cool. See, if we have horses, we could convert this into like a horse friendly stable. So, Be, what do you think of the place? Yeah. Hmm? I like it here. I like it here too, right? It's so like simple and just quiet and peaceful and just spacious. And I love eating from the land. It's so great. Look at these random dogs here. Look, we got a pack of dogs passing by. Hi there. Hi doggies. Hello po. Good afternoon. See, isn't it great? Yay, Aratilis. But look, they're green still. We can't eat these yet. They'll be sour. But oh man, when this is ripe, oh. 
The best fruit. Maybe this, but not, not, not the whole thing. Just the huh? side. It's sour though. No, it's not sour. It's sweet? It's sweet. What are those little white things Just there? Just what's inside. Eggs? Okay. No, it's what's inside. It's See? It's sweet, Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, mmm! It is so good! Guys, like anyone who grew up in the Philippines eats this. It's like a childhood favorite. Oh my gosh, it's so. Oh! It fell! Sayang! <laughs> Guys, it is so delicious. It's like vanilla and marshmallowy. It's like not tart. It's like the most sweetest fruit. They should turn this into an ice cream flavor, they should make a pie out of this. Mm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much more when it's like ripe? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. The best. You eat it. No. Go. Mm, this one. Where? It's shiny. If it's green and it's shiny, you can eat now. Yeah, but it's not the best, but. Yeah, it's not like when it's really ripe. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, so good. But we're allowed to swallow the skin, right? Yeah. Why am I spitting it out then? I should just swallow everything. Wow, check out what they're doing here, guys. They're drying out corn kernels in the sun. See that? Look at all that corn. Isn't that awesome? Sweet. And then they just sell this. And that's how they earn it. Cool, right? I mean, you can also sell corn full, like the whole cob. But, I mean, this is another way to sell the, the produce. And it's just, like, totally dried out here in the sun, like that. See? No machines, nothing crazy, no chemicals, no added anything. Hey guys! It's all just here. See? I love this. I love this. Love, love, love. Organic, organic living. Oh, you're so sweet, Beth. Thank you. You got me a flower. Thanks. So pretty. Okay, here checking out one last location. Oh, look at all these corn cobs empty corn cobs i guess they just dump it here and they let it decompose into the soil there's so much land here guys <sighs> apparently this is all ours too all of this all right we're seeing one more location we could possibly build a house there as well wow guys what a view look at this view oh it's so cool under this tree too shallow says all of this is part of the farm all the way to the house even on the other side of this hill it continues Wow. I love it. I'll put it in my ear. My Buhai Squad, this has been such a fun trip and we'll definitely be back. And we're still mulling over ideas as to how we can make this place much more fruitful, how we can empower and employ more locals here in the community, and how we can like, you know, like produce food, uh, help convert from inorganic pesticides to like organic pesticides and chemicals and fertilizers. Uh, most of the stuff they use to grow is um, organic, uh, but some of it isn't. And it's mostly because um, I think uh, cost, because organic uh, fertilizers and stuff cost a lot more. But now that we're starting to take over operations here, because we're still not 100% uh, taking over operations here but now that we are we can start to learn how they do things and see if we can like tweak things to be more eco-friendly right make the world a better place and produce food for people to eat so my boy squad thank you so much for watching thank you for joining us and if you enjoyed this vlog be sure to hit the like button as it helps us a lot it lets youtube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences to new eyes um and if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button Come join the Mabuhai Squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. All right. Bye, guys. Love you so much. Thanks for watching. Mm.